What's up dudes and foxy dudettes? Today we are going to check out Michelle Pfeiffer's unisex fragrance brand, Henry Rose. I got six fragrances here that I've never tried before. We're gonna break it down today and I'm gonna give you my thoughts, so stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chris and welcome back to the Well-Rounded Dude. Like I said in the intro, we are breaking down Henry Rose. This is a company that was Founded by Michelle Pfeiffer in 2019, uh, she wanted to create an ethically sourced uh, fragrance company that is good for the environment without harsh chemicals and such. And uh, she has a whole bunch of fragrances. I had never heard of this company, but uh, I was given this sampler set as a Christmas gift from Foxy Dude at Sarah. So I have not tried any of these yet. So what I'm going to do is spray each of them on a, on a test strip give you my first impressions. I'll read you the notes and stuff from the Henry Rose website, which will be linked down in the description. Um, so I can tell you like what's in it and you can get a better idea that way because I have no idea. I just bought this and I'm trying it live here for you. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with, let's see, we're gonna start with the first one in this box called char it's important to note that all of these are in the edp concentration that's a higher concentration of oil so that's usually what you go for when you're looking for a fragrance so i'm going to spray char right here okay now this does smell pretty good i like this and again, these are all unisex, in case I forgot to mention that before. Um, so these are good for guy or girl. And they all range in the $120 range for a full-size bottle. Uh, the sampler sets are very affordably priced at $28. So you can try six fragrances for $28. And that's whether you go with Sephora or buy their sampler sets on the Henry Rose website. But this... This smells good. I will admit it smells a little more feminine to me. Um, but I'm getting like a floral vibe. But it can teeter either way. So I mean, I think it's a good safe bet to say it's unisex. But I'm curious what the notes are. It does smell good. It smells... This does smell fresh to me, but the top notes in this are South American Tonka Bean, Ivory Coast Ginger, uh, Labdanium Resinoid. Sometimes the notes and fragrances are extremely weird, I will say that, but it's pretty good. Uh, the middle notes are Indonesian Patchouli, Moroccan Orange Flower, and the bottom notes are Haitian Vetiver. So this does smell very fresh. I'm getting, I'm getting that tonka bean. I'm getting that ginger. The patchouli comes through a little bit. I mean, I'm gonna put this down and let it dry and move on to the next one. But um, we will come back to this so I can give you my thoughts on the dry down. Our next one is called Flora Carnivora. That sounds like flower meat to me, but <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. I have big hands. Okay, first impressions. Alright, this... This smells very floral. It doesn't smell unisex to me. This, this smells very feminine to me. But there's other notes coming in that, that kind of changed my mind right away. Like when I first smelt it, first thing I thought was, this is a perfume, this is from women. And then letting it just sit there for a second, it's got other notes coming in there that kind of smell masculine, but I'm getting some other stuff that comes up that, that makes it more feminine. You know, body chemistry changes fragrances and, you know, your body 
chemistry might change this fragrance to a little bit more masculine, but for me, what I'm getting is extremely feminine right now. Let's take a look at the notes. Top notes are orange flower, water, absolute Tunisa. It's, that's very weird to me. Um, Neroli Blanc. Uh, I've smelt fragrances with Neroli in it before, so that's that's not new. Uh, middle notes are Jasmine, Absolute Sambac. That's one note. Um, Tuberose Accord for the middle notes. And the bottom notes are Cedarwood, Texas, Vetiver Oil, Haiti, Opulent Musks, and Amber. Um, I got, I'm not gonna lie, like a lot of these are very strange notes. I have never heard of some of these before. And I'm still getting a very feminine vibe. It's the Jasmine, I think. I'm, I'm really getting a lot of the Jasmine. Um, yeah, there, there's really not much else to say with this one. I just get a lot that strong Jasmine sound. You get a little bit of the cedar wood, and I think that's what turns it a little bit masculine. But I would really say, guys, um, this is probably better off suited for a lady. Next, we got Jake's house, and this was labeled as a marine citrus. Um, so this could be good. I'm looking forward to it. Let's. Uh, Okay, now this is very, this is more masculine. Definitely more masculine than the last one. It does smell very marine, citrusy, salty. Um, so if you like uh, fresh, salty fragrances, like the, those marine type of fragrances, this one you'll like. But I'm getting something a little bitter. I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't know if I'm getting almost like a cucumber. And that's not the bitter part, but I'm I'm feel like that's coming through. But let's break down these notes. Let's see what's in it. Okay, so for the top notes, it says fresh marine. Um that is very different. Uh I, I don't know exactly what fresh marine entails. I mean, that could be a whole bunch of things, but that's what they have is the top note. That's the only top note that's listed. Middle notes are Neroli, Peony, and Jasmine. I do get that. And it's odd that with the Peony and the Jasmine in here, you get a little bit of the floral sense, but it's not as like floral or feminine as the last one. Um, but it smells good. This is definitely something a guy could wear. And the bottom notes are Ambroxan and Musk. Uh, I can definitely tell that. And I think that's what really sets this apart to make it a little bit more masculine. Could a woman wear it? Yes, absolutely. But this is definitely a good call for a unisex fragrance. Um, a, a guy could definitely pull this off. And I really like what I smell so far. Next up is called Queens and Monsters. This one's labeled as a Amber Gourmand. Uh, Gourmand, if you don't know, it's fragrances that smell like food. So uh, I'm looking forward to this because I like food. So let's see. And you know, not for nothing, I wish the containers were a little bit bigger. I, I don't think I have the biggest hands in the world, but it's definitely hard to control these. So. Ooh. Now this one I really like. But I will say so far it's, I was gonna say it's leaning feminine, that it smells more like a perfume. But now I'm thinking it might be a little bit boozy. Like it gets a little, Like a, like a rummy kind of flavor, like a rum kind of flavor or scent, I should say. It's sweet, but it smells good. Let's break down these notes. For the top notes, we have Violet Leaf, Neroli, and 
Pettigrain. Middle notes are Freesia and Jasmine. And the bottom notes are Vanilla, Cocoa Musk, and Sandalwood. So they don't list rum in there at all, but to me it smells a little boozy. I do get that Vanilla, that Vanilla is coming through. Um, the Jasmine and the Freesia is really coming through too. I, uh, I, I really think this leans more towards women, but it does smell good, but I would label this more towards a perfume the more I smell it, but let's move on to the next one. We have Torn, which kind of reminds me of that Natalie and Bruglia song, but uh, this is labeled as a spicy vanilla, so let's see. Okay, right off the bat, this does not smell unique to me at all. This reminds me of Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Um, that's just first impressions like right away. Now, for those that don't know, um, Black Orchid by Tom Ford was originally a woman's scent, uh, but it later was recategorized into a unisex scent. It's one of my personal favorites. I've worn it, I like it, it's smoky, it's dark. Um, and again, both men and women can wear it. So this one definitely falls into that category. So this definitely could be uh, a unisex scent. I get a little bit of the vanilla, um, but I'm guessing there's some orchid in there because the, the, as soon as I smelled it, it brought me back to black orchid. So let's take a look at the notes and see if I'm right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am wrong. I may be able to tell that what a floral scent is, but I can't pick out the different flowers to save my life. Um, top notes are Freesia and, or Freesia and Mugget. I've never heard of that before. Um, middle notes are rose, which is probably that strong scent that I'm getting. What I was mistaken for is orchid. I'm getting a, a rose, uh, but let's start again. Middle notes <laughs> are rose, violet, and jasmine. Bottom notes are sandalwood musk, excuse me, sandalwood, musk, patchouli, vanilla bean, and praline, which is where the gourmand comes into, because vanilla bean and praline and stuff you eat very sweet um, I do like this a lot so far I think this has been my favorite out of them but I do love black orchid and that's what this really reminds me of so let's move on to the next one but so far this is getting my favorite so for our sixth fragrance we have what's called windows down which is labeled as a citrus bergamot citrus bergamot is probably one of the most uh, widely used fragrance combinations which is also a little weird because bergamot is kind of citrusy so I, I, I don't know but let's see goddamn tiny bottles okay this is extremely fresh very citrusy I like this a lot. It's very light. I could definitely see a guy or a girl wearing this. This is definitely a unisex fragrance. Um, it's just, it, it's it's good. It's it's fresh. It's like, I don't know, like slicing a, like an orange or, or a grapefruit or something. That, that first burst of, of that citrus aroma really comes and hits you and it's, it's good. It's something I would definitely like wear in the summertime. I'm getting some floral notes in here too. I'm not surprised. All of these have had floral notes. Um, but let's break down these notes and really see what's in there and see if I'm wrong again. All right, let's check out these notes. God damn, I was right. We got neroli, grapefruit, bergamot, earl gray tea accord, I didn't see that one coming, but that, it works. Middle notes are orange flower and jasmine. Again, they hit you with the flower, like I thought. Uh, bottom notes are moss, uh, guayasia wood. I, I don't know what that is. Again, there are a lot of different notes in here. 
in different fragrances. This isn't the only company that does this, but there are a lot of different companies that use very strange notes. And sometimes I think they make it up, to be honest. Um, but Musk is also in here in the, in the last one. So um, I really like this one. It's really fresh. Like I said, guy or girl can pull this off. Wow. This one, I think between the last one and this one, it's my favorite. But we're going to give this a chance to dry down. But we're going to start recapping and see how all these smell now that it's been about 20 minutes since they've, they've dried down. Okay, we're looking back at Char now. And this is pretty much like gone now. I don't think that this is very, very strong. And it's also important to note that this is just paper. Skin could be a completely different story, so don't let my opinion uh, weigh you down. Definitely try it out for yourself. Try it on skin. See how it would react with you and what you think. Um, I'm just not trying all these on my skin. It's because I have some place to be and I don't want to smell like six different fragrances. Um, but it really didn't, really didn't hold up on paper. It's very faint. I'm getting a very floral scent, a very light feminine scent. Um, so, I mean, it's like, to me it smells feminine, but I could also say it's borderline, if that makes sense. Borderline leaning more towards feminine, so. Yeah, a little disappointed that didn't last as long. We are back with flower meat, otherwise known as flora con cornor. <laughs> okay, we're back with flora carnivora. And this one is still going strong. Um, it's light, very floral. Um, I still stick by what I said before. Nothing's changed, still on that. Uh, Still, still on that feminine kick. Smells more feminine to me than masculine. Very strong in the florals. Not bad. Okay, we are back with Jake's house and I don't know who Jake is or why Michelle Pfeiffer decided his house needed to be a fragrance, but we're gonna take a look. Again, this was their marine citrus scent and it still is kicking. It's still pretty strong. Again, this is something I would wear pretty masculine but a girl could pull this off too but I think you know if unisex is the borderline it's leaning a little masculine but again a girl could pull it off those notes the embroxin is really coming through the musk the marine like I said it's a salty vibe and you still get a little bit of the floral in there too a lot of the floral I should say but it's a good fragrance all right, we are back with Queens and Monsters and let's see how the dry down is on this one. So, this one still smells pretty good. I'm getting the florals. Yeah, the florals are really coming through, like all of these are. Um, all, all the florals and all of these so far have, have really come through. I'm still getting the vanilla, the, that, that really comes through, and the cocoa musk and the florals, obviously. So I would have to say it's a sweet fragrance. Uh, if you're into florals, that's cool, because guys can wear floral fragrances too. Um, but I would say that this leans, in my personal opinion, a little towards the feminine side, but still a nice fragrance. Nothing's right, I'm torn. If this, so far, is the strongest fragrance. This one smells still like Tom Ford's Black Orchid. It's probably at a cheaper price too. For a 50 mil bottle, it's $120. I think that's a little cheaper than Tom Ford. Don't quote me on that, but um, nothing's changed on this. It's still pretty strong. Uh, all the notes are coming through. If you like Tom Ford's Black Orchid, you will love this. I said what I said. So in my opinion, all six of these have been really cool, but there's three that stood out to me. Uh, first and foremost, Torn. I really like this because to me it smells like black orchid. 
Black Orchid, like we talked about, is 100% unisex, and that falls into this category too. Uh, guy or girl can wear it. I would say it leans uh, more towards evening, but I think it's right down the middle equal that unisex, and that's what it was designed for. Jake's House is my second favorite. Uh, I love that marine scent, that fresh, salty water vibe. This is perfect for summer. The flower notes in here really help it. Um, I will say that with the Ambroxan and the Musk, it leans a little towards masculine, but I think a, a lady could still pull this off. So that comes in number two on my list. The Windows Down is rounding out my list. Uh, the Citrus, the Bergamot, uh, probably that Earl Grey Tea Accord is what's really helping. Uh, the musk and the moss too. I mean, in my personal opinion, I think this leans a little towards masculine, but again, a lady, a foxy do that could pull this off too. And it's a unique scent. I don't think I've smelled anything quite like this before. Uh, it's a little fresh. I would say you could wear it during the day. You could probably rock it anytime to be honest. Um, but it's something that I think you could wear in the, even like to the office or in a date or running errands or pretty much any time. And I always love a good versatile fragrance. So that's where my list goes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's video. Please be sure to check out Henry Rose. They are linked down in the description. Uh, all their products are ethically sourced. They don't test on animals. They are very transparent with the ingredients that they use in their products. And they have more than, than what we talked about here today. There's more fragrances. And they have, like, body lotions and some other stuff, too. So be sure to check them out. Also, too, please be sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, do all the social media things. Help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Ring the bell. Be sure to check out the wellrounddude.com. Dude 15 will save you 15% off your total purchase. And we got a lot of cool stuff there. And, uh, you know, the website is our hub for everything that we do here. So you'll be able to find our Amazon page from there. Uh, you'll be able to listen to some of the latest episodes of our podcast over there. And it's just a good time. So go check out thewellroundedude.com. So with that, I will see you until next time. Take care. Peace. Thank you.